so you and Brian start to get to know each other a little better. I don't know that we really got to know each other that well at all, like ever. You guys spend so much time together. What are you talking but about? We didn't. Like we were spending time together in groups. We were spending time together while working, like in passing. But we didn't spend like a Sunday afternoon together. Like I don't really know. What about that date? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Some champagne. I have champagne here we're in Thailand. What do they call it? I mean, it doesn't exist. I'm super grumpy. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to cheer you up. I don't know how to do it, I'm sorry. I set the whole date up for us and I wanted to get to know, know her better. Um, she wasn't really keen on it, so it was a little bit disappointing. What was she not keen on exactly? I don't know, she just, she moans a lot. She, yeah. she, she's always got something to moan about. It's really hard to please her. I took that a completely different way. <laughs> no comment. I, I mean, I felt bad. It's not like it was Brian's fault that I was so exhausted. And that's why I tried to make it quite clear that I was like in a grumpy mood because I didn't want him to feel uncomfortable by my grumpiness. It, like, it had been a pretty long charter. I haven't washed my hair in three days. I have a lot of leg space to moisturize before I can wear a dress. My other dress fell in the toilet. <laughs> My hair's wet and now I'm en route to a date in a golf cart and I'm just, you know, it's just like. I'll give her that, she was really tired and she dropped her dress in the toilet before we went on the date. <laughs> 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 so something like that can definitely set her off because she gets very upset very quickly sometimes. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney? <laughs> no. Courtney was the first person that I've ever dated that has that certain personality. Mm -hmm. like. I love to love, like I'm a very emotional person. But uh, when you're on a boat with a certain amount of people, like you don't have many options. So you, you, kind of, you kind of try to make something happen with somebody that you wouldn't normally try to make something happen with, if that makes sense. And I think if me and Courtney met in different circumstances, I don't know if we would have got together. We are two different people. I think that Riley definitely is a hard worker, but she needs a little training in how to be part of a team and how to be, subs not subservient, but how to be respectful to people who are above her. And she thinks that there is nobody above her. I'm gonna give you guys a line each, and I want you to practice your bowlings. Like, do you want me to do it in front of you? I just you seem to have an issue with the task I've given you because you've not tried to do it in front of me. I don't have an issue with it, I just as did a point. it. Right. You. you know, there's 40,000 different knots you can use on a boat or at sea, and he wants one specific knot that I don't, I'm not using every day, so I'm not accustomed to it, so I struggle at it for a minute. But he makes a point to like make that a big fing deal when it's really not a big deal. A bowler knot is one of the few knots that can be easily undone after it has undergone tension, which is why it's one of the you know, most widely used knots on, on yachts. We were using the bowler knot, and Riley was at the point where she was tying it, and it took her a while to tie the knot, and I kind of asked if I could help her, and she was like, no, 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 I'll get it, and she kept trying to do it, and I could see she couldn't do it either. And I was like, well, you know, maybe this is a, a good, chance for me to you know make it a group effort I'll use Tanner and Riley that it, nobody feels isolated um, to kind of address the issue it's like a little homework I'm like all right here's my line like teacher did I do good <laughs> Riley immediately hated it we we're both sitting on the fender on the bow and I'm just like I just wish I had a bag of popcorn a bowling knot is not something that I use on on the fishing boat a lot cool I mean I don't know what to say yeah the less you say the better the less I say, the better. You've got a bad attitude. I'll just keep taking your guys' attitude. Exactly. Right. Because that's what a good third deckhand does. So get it. All right. I know. I can't do it, but you guys can. You, now you guys are my issue. That's the issue. We're creating this huge argument <coughs> over just a line. It's like walking on eggshells around there. All the time. You can't, yeah, you need to watch what you say. I think that's an ego thing, really. Um, you know, she doesn't want to be told that she has to learn something. She does know a whole lot of things she needs to know on a, on a fishing vessel, but this is not a fishing vessel. So I think she kind of thought it was beneath her. I can't even be acquiesced by Ashton or by my superiors as having some type of knowledge where I should have some kind of respect as to having, you know, value brought forth on the boat. It sucks. If you never learn how to kiss ass, no one's ever gonna kiss your ass. 
<laughs> it's it's like a circle of life. You got to kiss the mask before your ass gets kissed. It's just manners. Mm -hmm. Of which she lacked a lot of. So you guys got pretty wild at the club in Phuket. That was the day I broke up with Simone. <laughs> she wore like the most provocative outfit and looked yeah. the sexy as hell. Remember what I'm saying? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we were yeah. all like, Samoa looks good as f I was like, that's the slap, like right there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's she knew what she was back doing. She, yeah, yeah, she knew what she was doing. It's what you're missing out, mother <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Normally, if like a guy breaks up with a girl and stuff, whatever, then it's like, oh, I'm just gonna make sure that I look extra super hot, you know? I was like, nah, bruh, I look hot normally <laughs> so i'm just gonna keep being me that was yeah, actually like the then, perfect situation for you yeah. like you were not happy and then you got to a club where you could just like dance i love dancing was i grinding with riley yeah <laughs> i was waiting for someone to tell me i made out with her i was like oh my god <laughs> probably no i didn't <laughs> we were all kissing each other because we were so we were kissing lips <laughs> <laughs> and that was like come let's go dance on stage let's go dance on stage and they were like no no, no you can't do these bounces um they're not gonna let us on there i was just like this and I ran and I darted and I jumped under the bouncer's arm <laughs> I jumped on stage and I started dancing and the whole crowd went crazy and then the next minute Tanner jumped on and then Ashton jumped on we were cheering for us you look up in the balconies and everything like everyone's fucking going crazy yeah. and, and then like, Tanner tried to do a stage dive in my head I'm like this is a stage yeah. dive and I told everyone in the crowd I was like he catch was him, the please only catch one him, ready. Catch he goes, him. let's catch him and I go to jump and good thing like I still had a little corner <laughs> Everyone just scattered, <laughs> so I like, while midair, I Lucky stopped and just fall right on my knees. And oh, I'm like, his knees, yeah. The show goes on. We <laughs> started dancing, like, let's keep going. That was a really good night. I wish Courtney was into it, man. I was like, glued to that, like, club chair. Thanks. There was, like, foam and steam and flashing lights and sticky floors. Yes. I was I'm sitting alone at bottle service for, like, me. seven hours, like, texting my dad. Oh. And then I sent him a video. I was like, this is where I am, Dad. And he was like, I don't like clubs either. Like, it's okay. <laughs> and then I look in the background, and Brian's like, I see, like, a little white body, just, like, a white shirt, like, fully on stage dancing. And I was like, Dad, that's that the looked... deckhand that I made out with him. See that? At least you could say you just made out with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about the Jezuan Charter. So this oh. was like this. With Master Pearson and Lady Tiernan. Oh yeah. So this was supposed to be a redemption charter. Really it was charter. supposed to be, Trying. wasn't it? But that redemption kind of fell flat. Can you talk about that? Last year, Tori and Albert came on board and they pretty much had the worst charter in the history of all yacht charters. One of their friends got dropped by the bosun. Chandler. They were left on an island with no water. It was like no. Survivor. I had to promise the placenta of my firstborn to some man in Tahiti just to get a ride back. And then broken glass on the deck. And then, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. <laughs> it was not good. Check the after show on bravotv.com from season six. But this was our redemption charter and they only had a few requests most of which were Minimal. met except for the beach party but ashton decided to cancel it okay guys i'm just not comfortable with the way that the waves are crashing onto the sand especially with the kids and the older folk cats and caps and ash go ahead ash well, i'm not really comfortable with the situation on the beach what if you can't do it safely then you can't do it at all am i hearing on the radio that they might not be going to the beach now yes you are hearing that I was just thinking, if I get this approach just slightly wrong and a wave hits us from the back, you know, we could be flipped into those rocks and it was just going to be a shit show. I guess we're going to get injured again. And this was not going to be just a little slip and a fall and a cut on the knee. This is potentially like massive injuries. If it's too rough to get in and to get people on and off safely, uh, it's not a call I can make from the yacht. But was it? From what I could see, yeah. It because was? The graduation of the of, of the slope You're right. is very steep. Mm -hmm. Thailand's so, tides are so crazy. So you, you can't just put it up on the beach, get off. Two hours later, and all of a sudden you've got 10 more feet of beach, and your boat's up there, and your water's back here. That do make it a problem. <laughs> that do make it a problem. And so I, I thought that, he made the right call. People have told me it wasn't. I'm so confused. Yeah, but they're not captains. 
And let's face Much it, less another one. the experience on the boat is pretty amazing, so. The family had to spend a lot more time on the boat than Which originally intended. Which put pressure on you guys' as interior crew. And there were a couple kind of hiccups with like the hair and the cheese. There's a hair oh, on my cheese. No way. Oh, oh no. I didn't get a hair. Well, Whose hair was it? It was mine. It was about this long. It was black, curly. Kevin, you've only got so much hair, bro. Yeah, you can't be losing it in the food. Oh, was that my hair? Whose hair was that? It was mine. In <laughs> Sherry's daughter's plate. So between the hair and the cheese and the island excursion, there were a couple issues. Why do you guys think you got such a small tip? They left us uh, 16500 <coughs> $1,500 a piece. No, there's something stuck in my throat. Does it happen to be about $4,000? Sometimes people come onto a boat with an amount in mind that they're going to spend and they come with that money and that's what they spend. I, I don't know. Where though the, those guys kind of left and just said, thanks for everything. Like, and that's kind of how I am leaving a restaurant. You know, if it's, if it's not exactly what I thought I was paying for, I'm just like, yeah, thank you. You know, and just leave, leave the old 10%. Thanks. thanks. Obviously, they just felt like the experience wasn't to their standard. Yeah, no, no, exactly. Um, and I'd rather that. And you know, yeah, rather, yeah. Leave, rather have a small tip than them leave with a, an injured grandparent or, or baby. That That's fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll take that one to the chin. I'll take full responsibility yeah. for that one. Hey, this is Ashton and Ross from Below Deck. Click here to subscribe and click over here for more videos.